Recently, Blizzard announced a new batch of nerfs for the game of Hearthstone, and I'm sure most of you are wondering my opinions. Most of them are relatively straightforward. That makes sense, that makes sense, didn't they nerf this once before? And about f***ing time. But players across Reddit and YouTube are questioning and criticizing one final card change, the one done to equality. With it being nerfed by a whole 2 mana when Control Paladin was only just coming back into the game, some players are concluding that Blizzard has gone too far and driven this card and its deck extinct. I disagree, and today I'll be arguing three points. First, I'll be claiming that equality deserved a nerf. Second, I'll assert that this nerf was perfectly appropriate for the card. And third, I'll conclude that the card will still see play. If you feel like you might disagree, I'll cut you a deal. Hear me out, then put your response in the comments. Anyways, let's go. Argument the first. Equality deserved a balance change. Let's look to a hypothetical universe where Blizzard decided not to nerf equality, but did the rest of these card changes. This would set Hunter's Mark to a fairly reasonable 2 mana, the card likely to see play in certain decks. Meanwhile, Mass Hunter's Mark would still be 2 mana, the exact same cost, so clearly some power discrepancy is present. But equality may not be equal, but that doesn't mean it deserves to be weaker. Why shouldn't Paladin keep a strong control tool in its toolbox? To answer that rhetorical question, I'll draw some perspective by going back, way back, to the time Hearthstone was young. The game was fundamentally different back then, to the extent that players would look at a zero mana hunter's mark and go, well, that doesn't fit into my face hunter deck, useless! Clearly times have changed, but how exactly? Generally speaking, before the year of the Kraken and Whispers of the Old Gods, the ideas of aggro, midrange, and control were fundamentally different to how they are now. Aggro moved at a much faster pace, midrange had strong combinations to exploit, and control won its matchups by outvaluing their opponents rather than through one turn kill strategies. This was reflected in the cards. Aggro had three attack knife jugglers and arcane golems with charge, midrange had molten giants, and control had one mana executes, hexes and big game hunters costing three mana, hunters marks costing nothing, and, you guessed it, two mana equalities. Back then, minions were like glass cannons, being able to damage and destroy rival decks with ease. Control decks countered this with cards like Equality and Consecrate, letting their opponent overextend before shutting them down hard. But now, things are different. The fast aggro cards have been losing support, and now the few ones remaining are being nerfed as well. However, if control decks kept these same powerful tools, they would still shut aggro down hard. So powerful these pieces are that they're being used in mid-range even decks. And as much as we might love for aggro to be brought down, not every nerf can go to aggro decks. Balance is necessary. So why not target this relic of that bygone age? Alright, hopefully you're on board as to why there was a nerf. But some of you are probably still wondering, why this nerf? Why 4 mana instead of 3? Surely knocking a low cost card up 2 mana will reduce its effectiveness significantly. However, this brings us to our second point, the change to equality is appropriate. First off, Equality at its heart is a reactive card. This is contrasted to a proactive card, which advances its deck strategy by placing minions or damaging face. Reactive cards are instead played in response to the opponent. Examples include hard removal, board clears, and the like. For our purposes, the important thing to note here is that the card's power output is dependent on what the opponent plays. Equality Pyromancer is quite strong if the opponent has an army of giants. It's not quite as good if they only have one Tar Creeper. A 1 mana nerf to a proactive card is usually a big deal, since it not only increases how much is spent on the card, but also how soon it can be spent. Spiteful Sumner and Bone Mare were once the kings of the curve, but delay their effects just one turn and suddenly they're not strong enough. I imagine a similar story will occur with Flame Tongue Totem. But reactive cards care less about these changes. Execute and Hex are still used quite often. I and most players assume Hunter's Mark will still be played, at the very least thanks to synergies. This goes to show, reactive cards are limited mostly by the circumstances they find themselves in, less by their mana cost. This was Blizzard's rationale when judging equality. If they had chosen to reduce it by just one mana, Control Paladins would collectively go, well that sucks, before immediately returning to their exact same combo. Meanwhile, even Paladin would suffer a horrific heartbreak. Neither of these circumstances are ideal so Blizzard kept the card even and made the nerf a bit heavier. Now, a 2 mana nerf is still able to bring down a reactive card, just look at Big Game Hunter. But in this case, the nerf is even less significant, because Equality is inherently a combo card. Never has this card been in the meta without its trusty sidekicks Wild Pyromancer and Consecrate, and that's because without them, this card is useless. 
Sure, if both you and your opponent have minions, then this spell effectively gives them all poisonous, but that requires the board to be contested. Equality may allow significant board control, but it needs other cards to be able to do that. Thus, the requirements for using equality properly are on a long list, and the mana cost is only one item on that list. How large the board is and what other cards are in hand are much more important than the two mana costs. Changing this card to three mana would have affected the requirements too little. Two mana, on the other hand, might just do the trick. But some of you are still reeling. It doesn't matter if the old equality was powerful and that one mana change would have been too little. This still puts the card and its decks down, and you're mad about that. I can't exactly blame you. I've also waited long for Control Paladin to shine again. However, while I can't alleviate that frustration, I can convey my complete confidence in my final point. Equality will see play again. Let's start with the silly but technically true point that this nerf is a buff to Shirvala and Spirit of the Tiger, just to give you all a glimmer of hope. A second tidbit, the new Wild Pyromancer Equality combo is still nearly as strong as the old Equality Consecrate, at least in the majority of circumstances. And Equality Consecrate is now about as strong as Twisting Nether, at least balance-wise, so it's not like all hope is lost for those stratagems. But just to drive home this point, here's one card Blizzard could release that would immediately allow Equality to see play once again. Arcane Explosion, aka the worst board clear in the basic set. Give this card to Paladin and suddenly Equality is back swinging. Or maybe Blizzard could give Paladin cards like Maelstrom Portal or Twilight Flamecaller. No reason why Pyromancer should hold the monopoly on cheap board clears. Now that just gives decks hope for future expansions, it's not an immediate solution. But if we look to the present, there's one deck that could still use this spell. Even Paladin. Since the deck choices are still limited for Baku and Gen decks, it's not like Even Paladin can find easy substitutes for Wild Pyromancer, Consecrate, and Equality. In fact, I imagine the deck instead deciding to include some slower cards that synergize more with all of these. Perhaps this deck will not be the top tier nonsense it once was, but it still has a chance to make an impact. And with that, my argument is concluded. Old card OP, small nerf still OP, new card fair. While on the surface this nerf looks like the most extreme of the changes, further analysis show that it's only logical. Frankly, this entire patch was a long time coming. These basic and classic cards have been existing in decks as painful reminders of a past better forgotten. And while the aggressive cards are trimmed down, so too the control cards must be. But hey, if the old card was a little too strong and the new card is still playable, then I guess a nerf was exactly what was necessary.